New York, 1930. Just one year and one month out of the stock market crash that sent millions into poverty and 10 years into prohibition, New Yorkers were still struggling to recover. For the next decade, New Yorkers could barely make ends meet, which led to a revolution in organized crime. While many were still lining up for hours for a free hot meal just to survive, Italian organized crime was lining their pockets. Beneath the exterior of the newly opened Chrysler building, there is a seedier side to the city. According to the FBI, the Mafia was not formed until 1935, but the Mafia's existence in America had existed since the 1880s, taking root in New Orleans and going by the moniker of the Black Hand. At the same time the Black Hand began its operations in America, the Five Points Gang, led by Paul Kelly, also known as Paolo Vaccarelli, and the 107th Street Gang led by Giuseppe Morello began inroads into American organized crime. While the Black Hand would die out, Giuseppe Morello would take the formation of an American mob family into the 1930s. As Morello would battle it out for turf and territory, he would eventually give way to Joe Masseria. As Masseria took over control, Salvatore Maranzano would be sent from Italy on behalf of Don Vito Cacciaferro to exploit the mob's control in America. Maranzano would establish his base of operations in Brooklyn, New York, with eyes on controlling the entirety of the Mafia in New York City and the United States. Masseria didn't look too kindly on anyone claiming New York City as their own. As tensions grew, two sides would form. Those who sided with Salvatore Maranzano and those who sided with Joe Masseria. February 26 of 1930, Joe Masseria fired the first shot in what would be known as the Castamorese War by killing Tommy Reyna. War had begun. Dozens over the next year would be killed, but there was one man from Naples who eyes the underworld very differently. He is a visionary. He is the antithesis of what the mafia could be what the Mafia should be, and what the Mafia will be. He will forever change the landscape of organized crime in America.